Squadron, the first aircraft landing on an Australian-built strip. And it's raining, as usual. Hey guys, welcome to another heavy metal diecast video and today we got a little one here look at the size of this thing compared to my sausage fingers It is a by a hobby master of course it is from the 172 air power series There is a little lesson to learn here. Um, they say don't drink and drive. Well, don't drink and diecast either I actually bought this while I'd had a few beers uh, and was trolling eBay and actually thought this was 148 scale So I paid $128 for this for this little aircraft here and as you can see it is quite tiny uh, you know the P-40 Warhawks, they are a, quite a small little nimble World War II fighter. It does come in the usual Hobby Master box, but the, you know, it's got all the little landing gear, little pilot and everything like that. Um, it is a pretty pretty cool one, but it is a sort of special one for me anyway. This is an RAAF version, so um, we uh, in the Commonwealth did call these the Kitty Hawk. So uh, this is from 78 Squadron, which was uh, formed in 1943 and deployed in the Pacific Theatre against Japanese forces. It would support ground forces and also fly bomber escort uh, missions with the Australian and American bombers uh, from mid sort of 1944 until 45 it would also operate against Japanese positions and shipping in the Dutch East Indies but you know what I say it's no good in the box we'll have a little look at this um, P40N Blackmagic RAAF fighter and uh, check it out in the metal properly Okay, with the blister packet out of the box, this is as it sits. does have a little um, uh, stand, of course, on the side. And we'll get this actually open and uh, have a little look at this little uh, kitty hawk, war hawk, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so there is that little pilot. The actual pilot was uh, actually Leonard Victor Waters, who was a, one of um, a small number of Aboriginal officers to serve in World War II. And he joined the RAAF in August of 1942. So what we'll do is we'll get his little aircraft... We'll get that out of the packet here. Beautiful. We'll just move that packet out of the way and we'll have a little look at the aircraft properly first. As you can see, it is a... Uh, look, the uh, build of this is really nice. And uh, this actual aircraft was actually uh, previously flown by another pilot who um, did actually uh, name this aircraft the name that it has, which <laughs> is Black Magic. When... Uh, Waters was issued this aircraft to fly, uh, being Aboriginal, he, he actually found it amusing and actually kept that name on it. He didn't have an issue with it, and um, he did fly this aircraft uh, with that name on it. And uh, this rendition by Hobby Master does look very nice. I think it, it, it does come up beautifully. You can see that it's got some re really nice sort of cockpit detail in there. I don't think that... Oh, yeah, the, the actual canopy does remove, and so you can... Sort of see some little details in there. It does have a, some nice detail in that cockpit. And uh, speaking of cockpits, um, when uh, Leonard was on one of his missions, he did cop a 37 millimeter shell uh, into the cockpit uh, just near his head. Uh, but it didn't detonate. <laughs> so he actually flew his aircraft for another two hours with that uh, 37 millimeter shell next to his head, uh, which could have exploded at any time. And uh, he did land his aircraft safely with that shell uh, still in there without uh, detonating. Um, he did say it was one of the softest landings he did make. <laughs> so um, that would have been pretty scary. But this aircraft does look really nice. That is really nice. The propeller does spin reasonably well. It does have some sort of, uh, you know, reasonable engine details. Waters was also the RAAF's middleweight boxing champ as well, so this guy was a, not, a good little scrapper. Um, that's what made him a, a really good uh, pilot. I reckon this, this aircraft does come up nice. We will turn it over and have a little look underneath and have a look at those panel lines. That is really good. Waters left the RAAF in January of 1946 and uh, just go on to do... Uh, things in civilian life he, he did he would never fly again though uh, he did enjoy flying he, he did actually try and set up some sort of um, airline i think it was but uh bureaucratic crap and all that back in those days uh, he, he didn't get the finance or the chance to actually achieve that and he did uh, unfortunately pass away age 69 in 1993 so what we'll do is we will uh kit this uh kitty hawk war hawk <laughs> out with some landing gear and we'll uh, come right back so here we have our old uh, Black Magic 
all kitted out. Um, straightforward. You just uh, drop that uh, rear gear wheel there. Drop that straight in. There is a little uh, cover there for the hole that's there for the stand when you want to put it on the stand. And then you put that uh, fuel tank there. The ordnance just drops in that uh, central fuselage position. And, of course, the main landing gear modules, they just drop straight in, of course. Um, they do not rotate or anything like that. And I think this sets up really, really nice. Oh, I don't have a problem with it. Uh, as I said, this was a little bit of an expensive uh, drunken compulsive purchase, uh, so $128. And um, they, for, for what you get for that price, it does seem a little bit... Uh, it's like their Hobbymaster Apaches. They are quite uh, sort of small and 172nd scale, but are quite expensive. Same with their little Hueys as well. But look, quality-wise, these these are fantastic. They come up really nice and, and look great. And uh, for me, you know, I'll look, it's a little bit you know, closer to home being in an RAAF aircraft. And I will plonk uh, the aircraft down here. And that is that is it. And I reckon it's a, a nice-looking uh, aircraft for sure. So uh, once again, it's by Hobbymaster, 172nd scale die cast. It's uh, the P-40N Warhawk, or as we call them, the Kitty Hawks. It is the Black Magic one that was flown by Leonard Victor Waters, who was, as I said, one of the uh, very few Aboriginal Indigenous uh, Australian pilots that did fight uh, in World War II for Australia in the RWF. And um, it is from the number 78 squadron, and I reckon it comes up great. Yeah. All right, guys, I'll wind this video up. I will take some photos of this aircraft, of course, without these sausage fingers being in the way. As you can see, it is small, and uh, you can check out some photos in a bit more detail without these fat-ass fingers in your face. And uh, I'd like to say thank you very much for spending your valuable time, of course, watching one of my videos once again. I really, really do appreciate it. All right, guys, you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers. Cheers.